Hey, well, this is my bike that I'm going to be going to Morocco on uh, later, starting starting the trip later today from Reading, well, from Wokingham near to Reading. Um, and I'm just going to go through everything that I packed and the spec of the bike as well. Right, so starting with what's in my back panel here. A bit of a pain to get off with my rucksack strapped to the back there as well. So I've got just a water bottle on the on the back. Um, well the ideas for this one is if it gets really cold at night in the mountains, just fill us up with hot water, and put in a couple of socks and it will be a hot water bottle. Um, so let's have a look at what I've got in there. I'm not going to be tidy because I'm not going to be tidy when I'm travelling around anyway. I've got a book, Travelogy. Um, I've got uh, my electronics bag, so in that, I just have loads and loads of uh, micro USB cables, a pair of headphones, I think I've got six pairs of, uh, six, lots of micro USB cables because I have lots of things to charge, um, and about, I think I've got six plugs as well, along with four adapters, um, the reason I've got less adapters is because I've got this multi-plug thing. Uh, again, it'd probably be better if I had that uh, with the European um, standard plug anyway. But there you go. Um, the other things I've got in this is three large power banks. So I'm going to be going a long time without any power. So they should be really important. Um, just find the place to get everything charged up at once. Um, I've got a spare phone, just my old phone, and uh, final thing is like a little um, radio and torch. You charge up just by winding, so that should be nice. Uh, should be good, um, especially listening to radio in kind of Spain, France, Morocco. It'd be interesting to hear some of the music out there. Um, I've got kind of a, a, I think it's a jungle army sleeping bag, but it's uh, just quite a small one. Probably not going to be that warm, but uh, there you go. Plenty of clothes anyway. Um, a stuff bag. I'm thinking this might be handy for keeping some of my block kind of dirty and clean clothes separate. Also double up as a pillow. Um, I haven't got anything in it at the moment though. I don't really need to. Um, and I've got my just self-inflatable mat. Um, uh, to stop, you know, that, that layer of coal, uh, stop getting cold from the ground, basically. Um, and that is it for that pannier. Right, on to my back pannier on the other side. I came off a bit easier, as I say, it's just the, the rucksack strapped to the back, which makes it a bit of a pain. In the back of here, I've just got a little shovel, um, just going to be for, for digging holes if I need to go to the toilet while I'm wild camping, um, just to be courteous, really. Again, I've got a book in here. The, the reason the two books aren't together is just trying to distribute the weight so they're equal on both sides of the pan here. Uh, both, both sides of, of the uh, bike. They're about six kilograms each, these bags. Then I've got my tent. It's just a very small kind of, probably up to about here kind of tent. Um, but it's going to be good for wild camping. Um, then I've just really got all my clothes. So uh, I've, got, I've got a mini mini uh, dry quick towel um, I've got shorts um, just a uh, what's it called thermal top uh, t-shirt then I have waterproof trousers just waterproof over trousers so they look pack up very small um, so very good um, then I have a tarp um, just your, mainly the idea of that is to, to sit on really when I stop somewhere. Um, but also, if there's anything wrong with the tent, that could be useful. The tent does have a repair, little repair kit in it, so you could even cut part of the tarp out and glue that on if that is an issue. Um, I have two pairs of underwear um, along with the two pairs of cycle shorts that I'm bringing. So, if I'm going out in the city or something, um, I have three t shirts, but they're obviously. Uh, wearing one as well and uh, four pairs of socks again including what I'm wearing right now um, I've got a hoodie as well I've just put it in this stuff bag it's 
thinking that would be good to use as a pillow as well as maybe just some other loose clothes don't know how well that will work, I have to see okay. and that is it for that bag ok so on to one of my front panniers I'll go for this one first I say two front panniers are, are four and a half kilograms each and I've got six kilograms on the back there I think we're weighting them on the backs so that rack says 30 kilograms but I don't believe it's uh, it, 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 I think we'd struggle with that much uh, and on the front I think it was 15 uh, kilograms so I'm getting closer to it on the front but I feel more comfortable with the one at the front to be honest um, I've always have problems with racks on the back um, ok so this one just at the top of it I've got some food again really that's just to balance weight because the other bag has more food in it so it's got some uh, and a cereal bars and actually a frozen nut, nut roast that my mum's made so that's going to be nice um, then I've got my passport just in a waterproof bag um, I've got some medicine so paracetamol uh, plasters and some savalon um, zip ties which just if something falls apart really, hopefully I won't have to use them too much. Um, then in this bag I've got all my kind of bike, not all of my bike repair stuff, but a few a few of the bits. Um, gear cable, brake cable, in case one of them snaps. I hadn't at all before. Um, chain removal tool, a adjustable spanner which also has kind of uh, knives and a uh, pair of scissors on it as well. Uh, then. Uh, this multi-tool which has all the allen keys and screwdriver um, it does actually have a chain tool on this but I've tried to use it and it just doesn't work I don't know if I just haven't machined it properly or something so that's why I've got the extra chain tool as well um, a spare inner tube and some chain lube so that is all my bike maintenance stuff oh actually and um, just a cloth to clean the chain with um, and I've got some baby wipes, I'll probably also use them to clean the chain as well um, and uh, this is just for a quick shower if I don't find any running water anywhere um, some kind of uh, cream to help with uh, if I get saddle sores or anything um, sun cream toothbrush toothpaste uh, if I stay in any hotels or hostels Probably more hostels which uh, you need to use a locker on. I've got a little padlock. Um, so don't know if that'll come in handy or not really. I haven't bought one before. Um, this is my cooking kit, so just take this out quickly. Okay, and uh, it's just quite a small I honestly ideally I'd like it to be a bit bigger because I like to cook big meals and even save something next day. But then again, I just do it in in lots. Uh, inside, I've got my I think my little uh, camp stove. Just screws onto the top of a gas bottle. Um, got some tissues. Got a load of lighters and some matches, just in case I, I lose them. Basically, some soap and a uh, little sponge thing. I think I'm going to use the soap for pretty much everything. Um, so washing my hands, washing my clothes and washing the pots if they need it, although to be honest I normally find I won't be cooking much meat, I'd probably just use water to wash that. Uh, this is kind of a neat little thing, it, it's just a tiny little bag but it uh, folds out into a rucksack so if I'm going around a town it might be useful, it's quite small and light anyway. This is the gas bottle that the, uh, the stove screws on top of. Um, a couple of my inhalers fork and spoon, if I need a knife I can just use the one off the, uh, the adjustable spanner um, got one of those cereal bars fell out, something to cut my nails with and some dry shampoo so useful. Right. ok so for my last pan here front one on the left Let's see what's in here this is mostly a food bag so um, kind of as the food goes down I'll have to balance out the weight again with the other one uh, actually the order that I've got these the stuff in these panniers isn't really that well thought out but uh, I figure that'll be something that just kind of happens as I'm, I figure out as I'm on the road which ones, which things I'm using together and which things I can put together because I'll be unpacking this stuff a lot anyway um, so I've just got some uh, kind of like energy sport 
gel things, um, load of them, a couple of packet of crisps, a uh, big pot thing of pasta that I made last night, uh, and just, well, I normally tend to just make things with vegetables because you don't have to worry about them going off then. Um, some oats, porridge in the morning is always a good meal and easy. I normally just use water um, with my porridge, but uh, I have got some milk powder somewhere, I'll get to that in a minute anyway. Um, just a quick like little salmon lunch snack thing. Um, obviously one that doesn't go off for uh, a long life one. Um, some nuts, uh, some more nuts. And some more nuts, so good little snack nuts, and also tend to put in things like uh, noodles, and tend to cook noodles quite a lot. So uh, handy, handy way to get some protein. Um, a couple of bananas. Again, normally just put some fruit in my porridge in the mornings, so uh, don't carry anything like sugar, just uh, just oats and oats, water and fruit really. Uh, four apples for the same purpose. Um, another sports gel thing and a load of little sachets of coffee um, and then I've got my cup to make my coffee in and obviously there's the milk powder um, to um, uh, show you the rest of the little storage things I've got around the bike um, I've got my uh, camelback kind of water backpack it's got two litres of water in so that'd be good for carrying some water I um, actually only have one water bottle at the moment but I might I'll start popping to a supermarket, I'll, um, I'll get a couple. I have to be along the way now, as I say, because I'm leaving today. Uh, and actually, this uh, this mount here was originally meant for a speaker, but I just kind of decided I'm not going to bother with the speaker. Uh, it's going to be too much of a struggle, because most of the time I'm going to be wild camping to uh, to keep stuff powered up. So I'm not going to bother with the speaker, just going to use it as an extra water bottle carrier. Um, so I should have quite a lot of space for water. Two litres and then probably a litre with the uh, the two two uh, bottle cages at the bottom. Half a litre at the top and half a litre here at the back as well. Um, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, the other thing I'm doing is I was planning to do some hiking on my trip. So I've got a hiking rucksack, just uh, bungee cord to the back there. Um, along with my lock so I can just easily lock up uh, the wheel if I have to. Um, Yep, and then I've got a little bag at the back with my sunglasses in. Um, so again, I don't normally use sunglasses when I'm touring, but probably makes it a bit more comfortable, so be good. And now I've got my obviously saddle bag as well, it's a bit awkward to get into now. Um, so I've got a puncher repair kit, a inner tube, another a lot kind of quicker puncher repair kit here as well. Um, like an instant seal one, I think. Um, then a little multi tool, which is just a. Again, it's got like little knives on it and stuff, but uh, it's got a ruler and it's a pair of pliers as well. So that should be quite handy. Um, if, I mean, if a cable snaps or something, I don't, I don't know what else it would be handy for, really. But you know, it looks good. And just some cable links. Uh, um, if my chain snaps um, and I've got three uh, tire levers again in case one of them snaps when I'm uh, trying to get a tire off um, is there anything else I think that's all it for the storage things I was gonna put a handle bag uh, handlebar bag on there but I've gone for these instead I'll mention that a bit later that's it quick spec of the bike um, new parts that I put on the nine speed um, uh, cassette, got a brand new one of them, 30, I got up to 34 teeth, uh, 11 teeth on the bottom, and a new chain. Also, a new bottom bracket, the other one was just a bit sluggish, um, so I thought I'd get a new one of those. New discs, because they were a little bit bent on the, because this is a, a second hand bike, so a little bit bent just uh, stopping the power a little bit because it ends up rubbing and new disc pads also new cables and cable housing for all of it um, as I was changing the gears over from another bike onto this one I think there's about 10 bikes in this one overall um, for second hand parts uh, the other new new thing is the uh, front rack um, 
and uh, the back rack, back rack uh, needed that one to have these uh, kind of spacing things because it's a disc brake. The disc brakes get in the way of a normal rack. Um, so it just put a bit of extra pressure on that bolt, I, I reckon anyway. Um, and I have had bolts in that before, so a bit of a worry, but uh, you know, everything's a risk. Um, and uh, so if we go through the handlebars, uh, you've got Diora kind of nine, sp uh, nine speed gears on this side, three speed gears on this side, obviously a bow I just accidentally rung. Um, aero bars I decided with in the end. Uh, it gives me a bit less storage with handlebar bags, but uh, you know, it's uh, I, I quite like using them. It'd be fun down in the mountains down here as well, and um, uh, just generally pushing out maybe a last quick hour or something at some point. Um, right, the gears at the back, you've got LX uh, Diora, um, and Shimano Diora front derailleur. Um, I did have an XT Diora derailleur on the back, but as I say, it was all second hand parts, so it was still, the cogs in it were too worn. It was. Um, it was just that being a bit sluggish, really. Uh, also, normally have a Garmin uh, Garmin Touring at the front, so it's got maps on it. Not a particularly expensive one or anything, but it's got maps. So that's good enough for me. Um, and I changed my saddle just yesterday, so I had a nice new um, specialised uh, saddle. Uh, but I've been riding the last couple of days, and it's really killed my ass. So I've gone back to my old saggy. Uh, um, commute, saddle I've been using for years um, to commute with, so at least I'll be used to it. Um, I took a ride with this bike yesterday with it and it felt a lot better to be honest, so I'm going to stick with that. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, I've gone for cage pedals as well. Um, they're not ideal with, I've just got a pair of running shoes so I can hike in them as well. Um, it's not ideal with that because sometimes you catch your, your, the back of your shoe on the frame, um, but I'm getting used to where to put my foot in so that doesn't happen basically and um, I still prefer them to, I've got some metal mountain bike pedals, could have put them on but gone for these instead we'll see how that goes, I think as I get used to it more um, we get better and I've got to swap them along the way um, anyway okie dokie a list of all the gear that I'm bringing in my panniers and uh, a little bit around the frame um, and also a general spec of the bike um, I put it together myself, so hopefully it will last. Uh, the last thing, um, to mention just just where I'm gonna go. Uh, so I'm gonna go through uh, getting the ferry on Saturday, so in a couple of days' time uh, from New Haven. So just gonna take it easy getting down there um, and leave today. And uh, then we go through France um, over the Pyrenees, which I'm looking forward to. There's the hikes around there. Uh, then through Spain. Um, and then end up, I, I want to cycle uh, around the National Park in Sierra Nevada. I, I'm definitely not saying that right, but um, um, yeah, it's got the highest road in Europe, so I'm really looking forward to that. Be, uh, well, I probably won't be looking forward to it when I'm climbing it, but uh, the idea is nice anyway. Um, and then uh, in Morocco, once I, I get to Marrakesh, I'm going to head out of there to uh, Mount uh, Tubkal which is the highest point in North Africa and the Arabic world. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, then uh, either, either get the uh, get a fly back from Marrakesh or Agadir. So that's a plan at the moment. Might change uh, a little or a lot. Um, or, you know, the bike might fall apart tomorrow. So we'll wait and see. Um, anyway, I'll try and do some more videos like this, but uh, um, I won't be able to upload them as I'm going. So... Uh, there you go.